What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix. The rematch is having an issue with crashing, it is crashing at startup, not launching, won't launch, freezing, structuring, lagging, low FPS drop, low fatal error, black screen and even many more issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So the game hasn't released it, it is yet to release in a couple of days but I just got, you know, what I have to say. Uh, pre-match which I bought for and I've just played the game for 33 minutes and I have found out some solution which I'm going to show you guys right now so the first one if you're having the trouble with these you have to start with these steps so the step one is all about you have to restart your steam and you have to restart your PC so to do a restart on your system and the PC just go over here so closing the steam over here like this is actually not a restart so if you wanted to do a restart just go to the game now from here go at the top click on the steam and there is an option called exit you just need to go for the exit so that it will be shut down completely now we have to go over here in the start icon now from here go to this icon and do a restart once the restart is successfully done all we have to do is we just need to go back to the steam once again and we have to open it so it is like a fresh start for the steam and as for your, comp for your computer as well so this particular step that is doing a restart on both the system and the steam did help in many users so we can try this as the first step if that is not working you don't have to worry we have parallel steps that can be done so let us move to the rematch and we need to check next step is all about we just need to go over here that is all about we need to set the steam to offline then we need to try it into online so to do this just go over here in the steam there is an option at the top go on the top left steam then go to go offline option so that the steam is right now offline and you have to try launch the game not launch the game just do it offline after the offline is done then you just need to go for go online so right now as you can see the steam is on online right now so right now you have to launch the game and you have to check let us see if that is not working or not if that is not the case we need to move to the next one that is all about we need to install the visual c++ so to do an installation, we have to go over here, go to this particular Microsoft Visual C++ and right now we have to scroll down over here. If the system is based on x64, we have to download this one and if the system is based on x86, you have to download this one and install. A restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and we have to check. Moving to the next step is all about, we just need to go over here. That is all about, we need to launch the game using start protected game exe. So we'll be finding this over here. So just go to the uh, Steam, right click and go to manage and click on the browse local file. Or you can directly navigate to the folder over here like this. Let me show you. Just go over here, go to the folder, go to this PC, go to local disk E, Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. From here, navigate to rematch. Now from here, we have start protected game. So we need to launch the game from here. Just open it and you have to check if that is working or not. Still, if you're having the trouble with the game, you can try the next step. That is all about. We need to rename or delete the SLP, sl.pcl.d2 file and create a backup first. So first we need to go over here. So that is, it is all in the folder like this. You can find it in the engine, this particular folder option. So let me go over here, right click and go to manage and browse local files. And I have to go to engine. Now from here, I have to get into get into engine go to binaries then binaries sorry engine plugins marketplace just go back engine plugins marketplace then i have to navigate to streamline core sorry streamline core binaries third party win64 and here i'll find a folder named sl.pc.t2 so the instruction is we need to rename or delete it and we have to create a backup first. So first go over here. Let me take a backup, copy this. And once you copy this, we have to paste it over here in the desktop. So it is created. Now we just need to go back, right click over here and we need to rename it. You can rename it by giving anything like old. That is fine. Or after checking with renaming, you have to check with the game. If that is not working, try deleting it and you have to check with the game. So still, if you're having the trouble, we need to move to the next one. That is the verify integrity of game file, which I'll be showing you in the last. Then we need to move to the next one. That is allow the game to the Windows Defender and your Andy, I mean Windows Security. So in order to do this, we just need to go over here. 
So just go over here, search for the control panel and we have to click on the control panel. Now we need to change this one to category, then go to system and security, Windows Defender Firewall, go to allow an airport feature through Windows Defender Firewall, keep scrolling down and we need to find a rematch. So keep scrolling down and navigate to rematch and over here as you can see this is rematch. Put a check on both the boxes, private and public. That's what we have to try. So once afterwards, we have to close this and we have to check with the game. If it is not added, not added, we can add it by default. That is also fine. Next run, the step eight is all about, we need to run the game from the game installation folder. And also we need to try running the game as an administrator. And also we need to try it in the compatibility mode. So what we need to do is we just need to go over here, file explorer, navigate to this PC, local disk E, steam library, steam apps, common, rematch, now from here we will be finding, this is the application, so right click, go to show more options, properties, compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator and go for apply and also click on run this program in the compatibility mode. So first we have to set this to Windows 7 and go for apply or we have to set it to Windows 8 and go for apply and go for ok. Once you cross check this, we have to close this and just go back to the instruction once again that it says we need to run the UE prerequest setup dot underscore x64 file from the program files that is steam steam apps common rematch engine so let me go over here into the installation folder so the installation folder is here steam apps common rematch engine now from here it says from the engine extras I have to navigate to the folder named extras then from here reduced just get into this particular folder over here you can see we have this application so we have to run it if it is not installed just agree the terms and condition and go for install it after the installation is successfully done we just need to try launch the game and we have to check whether that's going to fix the issue or not most probably that's going to fix the issue so it is going to take a little bit of time so what i'm going to do is let me keep this and most probably once it is done all we have to do is we just need to go back and launch the game and we have to check that's what we have to try so still if you're having the trouble we can move to the next step next step is all about we need to perform a clean installation of the graphics card so if you're on the nvidia you have to try the nvidia or if you're on the amd just go to the amd so once the installation is done let it process in between so we'll go to over here so to the nvidia users go to this particular page and now from here you have to scroll down from here now select everything like the product type should be selected that is geoforce and if you're on the geoforce rtx series you have to select rtx series and if you are over here you have to select everything <coughs> sorry and if you're on the windows 11 go over here and find it now from here what we need to do is we just need to wait for it so we'll be getting the latest available graphics card from here so we have to download the respective one and we have to install it if you're on the amd just go to this particular page graphics Arduino RX 5000 series then go to submit and if Windows 11 with 64 bit edition download this one and if you're on the Windows 10 with 64 bit edition we have to download this one. Now afterwards we have to check with the game. You, as you can see the UE pre request is successfully done. Now launch the game and check. Parallelly we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just search here for the graphics settings and click on this one and right now frame here we need to add the game. So right now, as you can see, I have not added the rematch, but I have recently added many games like Forza Horizon 5, GTA 5, Rainbow 6, which is one of my favorite. So similarly, I have to add it. So just click on add desktop app. Now we need to navigate to the installation directory that is Steam library, Steam apps common, rematch and select the game from here. Once it is added, just expand this. And if it is on let Windows aside, change this to high performance the nvidia geoforce gtx 1650 super now we need to close this and we have to launch the game next one is all about we need to delete the config folder all saved settings will be lost so that's an important one so just go over here navigate to this pc go to pro sorry get into users get into public sorry admin now from here you have to find app data so if app data is not available you should just click over here click on the view make this show hidden items should be made up so once afterwards you have to get into local 
Now from here you have to scroll down and find any file named as a runtime. So you'll be finding the runtime saver. So right now this is actually the files or saved files for the rematch key. Now from here you have to right click and delete the trash icon for the config. Now also keep in mind we need to take a backup. So what I need to do is I just need to copy this first before deleting. I have to copy this on the desktop like this. And once it is done, I have to delete it and I have to check before deleting, right click on this one, either you can try the name or rename it first. So before deleting, right click on this one, go to select this, right click, go to show more options, rename it like config one. Now we need to check it or we need to delete it completely. After renaming, if it's not working, just go over here and delete it completely and you have to check. Next one is all about we need to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So just go over here, right click and go to manage, not properties, go over here. First we need to type DX11. If DX11 is not working, we have to try with DX12 and we have to launch the game. Next one is all about we need to turn off the VPN if it is on it or if it is already on, we have to turn it off. We have to try either both these things. So just go over here, search for the settings click over here now we need to navigate to the network and internet now go to the vpn so right now as you can see i have not yet connected any vpn so if you're not connected any vpn you can ignore this step or if you're already with a vpn is available you can try connecting it and check if it's vpn is already connected you can disconnect it and you can check parallelly now from here we have to switch to a different network which means switch to mobile hotspot or use an ethernet connection so right now as you can see if i check over here so right now I'm connected to BSNL FTTTH. So I have to try either BSNL Wi-Fi roaming or I have to check these three networks by connecting and I have to check. If the Wi-Fi is not at all working, you can try connecting to your mobile hotspot and you have to check. Right now the next one is all about we need to run these commands in the CMD. So let me copy these one by one. I have to search for the CMD and I have to press it enter, go for yes. Now I have to paste it, press enter. Next one go for IP config release. So I have to copy this and I have to paste it, press enter. Next one IP config, I have to go for IP config renew. I have to copy this and I have to paste it. Next one, this one I have to copy and I have to paste it. Next one I have to go for copy this and I have to paste it. Once everything is successfully done, we need to update the windows. So just go over here, search for the settings and we have to update the windows. Just update your windows. If you're having any kind of pending updates and all those things, just update your windows and afterwards we have to check. Next one, increase your virtual memory. So just go over here, search for the view advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Now go to the advanced, go for settings, advanced, go for change. We have to uncheck this. Now once you uncheck this, select the local list where the game is installed. So in my case it is E. Now go to the custom size. So that is initial size which is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size 3 times the total RAM. So just go over here, search for the calculator. So first type your RAM. So 16 GB is my RAM which I have to type. Then multiply with a constant value. This is same for everyone. If your RAM is 8 GB, just type 8 and multiply with the same value. Then you will be getting this value multiplied with 1.5. That is 24576, copy this and we need to paste it. Next one, 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3. That is 49152, copy this and we have to paste it. Once everything's value is being set, we have to go over here and we have to check with the game. Next one, we need to close all the overlay applications like Discord, Eriva Tuner, MSA Afterburn and all those things if it is running. So if they disable the steam overlay, right click over here, go to the properties, disable the steam overlay, we have to check with the game or if any overclocking application. So just go over here, go to the task manager and from here we have to expand this and we have to check. For example, if Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, Discord, etc. If any of these kind of things are running, we just need to remove it. Once everything is successfully removed, we just need to close this and we have to launch the game. Next one, we need to unplug all the external devices such as hotas, wheels, pedals, mouses, razors, etc. If it is already connected and we have to check with it as well. Next one is all about, we need to update the system BIOS if it is there. The last and the least one, we need to uninstall and reinstall the game. 
while reinstalling it back for uninstalling go over here go to manage and uninstall the game for reinstalling it back we should go back right now the game is on e so i have to try either d or c i should not be installing on the same local disk and the last and the least step which is all about verify the game file so just go over here right click go to manage sorry properties go to installed file and verify integrity of game file so this is actually a little bit of step which is going to cross check every single files of a game and if any files are captured and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step so we just need to try with verify integrity of game file even though it's going to take a little bit of time but it works a lot so what i'm saying is you have to try this and wait patiently and once it's successfully done you can try launch the game and you can check so these are some of the steps in order to fix the issue with the rematch game and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more these kind of videos if you're having any doubts do let us know in the comment section so i'll get get soon as possible to replay back with your issues and help you personally with that as well so that's what it is so it is constantly a little bit of time so let me skip this so these are the steps that's it and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe that's it bye bye